Hey, Zach. Yeah. How did you get in here? Oh, toilet, teleportal, uh, motor, motor, motorbike. I see that you've hung these up on the wall. What do you think about that, Chris? That's great. Because I was thinking, I was like, man, where am I going to put all these cabinets? Because there's a lot of cabinets in a very small room. And then I thought to myself, these are uppers. Why don't I just put them where uppers go and uppers go on the wall? And it looks to me like you've done a lot of prep work in order to get to this stage. I like to do prep work more than I like to do cleanup. And so I take the dog out of these. See how nice that is? And pretty. So you primed, then sanded, and now you're, and then what's the next step? Then the next step is to spray the color that's going on here, which is gonna be a pewter green. And it's gonna look really, I'm a big green fan, love green, and that's what's next. Okay, well that'll be the next thing we see the show. Yeah. You getting all suited up to paint? No, I, oh, I'm actually going into surgery. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Trophoscopic? Uh, no, meloscopic. Oh, nice. Yeah, trophoscopic was last year. Look at this color. Isn't it beautiful? It is, what's it called? This is called pewter green. Oh, here's a good tip for you real quick. So I'm gonna spray this to this gun, right? This is what you call an HVLP gun. It's a high volume, low pressure gun. And it's a gravity fed gun. Now, the idea is that you can't spray really thick, viscous materials through it. And so you have to thin it. And so we use, when you have paint and you want to thin it, what do you use? Paint thinner. Paint thinner. So I poured some paint thinner in and mix this in. It's like a 10 to one ratio, 10 parts paint, one part paint thinner. And you get this right here. And, nice. and that's what you want. You want runny. You don't want ploppy ploppies off the stick. Let's paint. This right here is one of the best, most satisfying things in the world. So nice. Oh. That's it for today, folks. Join us next. Join us next time as we dive further into the world of cabinets.